Hello everybody, welcome to Brax Loft. I hope you enjoy the video. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just wanna say thank you to all the subscribers that came to the channel. I really do appreciate it. I do appreciate all the thumbs up and all the comments that everybody's been leaving. I try to comment on everything that anybody leaves a comment. And if I don't, I apologize for that. Uh, for some reason, sometimes they don't show up. I've seen it where I said I got a notice that somebody commented, but when I go to click on it, it does not show up. So I apologize again if anybody had commented and wanted to ask a question. I will leave my email in the description. So if you guys ever have any questions, you can always email me. At least that way, you know, hopefully I can help you out if I can. So, but anyways, uh, we went from 30 miles from my work for the last three weeks. And today we went out to 70 miles. Some people think I'm a little crazy for going that far, but in the past, I was told when I first started racing that you only need to go 20 miles in all directions. I don't, I disagree with that. I'd like to go further than that if I can. And like I said, right now I'm 70 miles and people think that's kind of crazy too, but for the most part, I've done in the past is uh, just 30 miles to work and then had them go to the race, which was 100 miles the first race, 107 miles to be exact, okay? And I didn't lose but maybe one or two birds. But, you know, I could have lost them before that too. Who knows? But anyways, like I said, I just wanted to, you know, give these birds a better of a chance. So I'm trying to go out a little bit further than that. So, like right now, I am at 70 miles. And I'm in a big open parking lot. Okay. And it's straight south kind of right where in the line where we uh, do racing from so this should help my birds out quite a bit so that's my plan anyways as you can see here this is the three normal baskets I have right here and these are somebody else in the club okay these are chicken baskets and they do work grinding for that kind of stuff the only thing it's uh as you can see some of the droppings they'll get in there a little easier but it's all right we'll be okay I'm going to wait a few more minutes here before I let them go and I'll do a little videotape on that and let you know how it goes. I do have a, um, all my chips on the birds and kind of go from there. It is a kind of a cloudy overcast as you can see here. Not super sunny yet. It's about 6 a.m. in the morning. But uh, overall things are looking pretty good here and I'll give you a little update once I get home and stuff. And this guy here, he only lives that far from me. I asked everybody else in the club too if they wanted me to take their birds down and he's the only one that said, yep. And everybody else says, we ain't quite got that far yet. So we still got a few weeks yet before our racing season starts. Uh, our racing first race is on August 8th, I think it is. So, but like I said, I wanted to give you a little update, so. All right, guys, it's time to let the birds go. And it is 6.15 a.m. I'm going to try to leave it here in the tripod and uh, go from there to see how the birds go and release them. So anyways, uh, we're getting ready to go here. So. Now there's a big group of birds guys, look at that. I have 50 birds, he had 78 birds. And as you can see, that's one big old group. And they're actually heading towards the home already, so. I can't even see them anymore, hope oh, there they are. That's kind of cool guys, see that many birds released at one time. It's going to be really interesting in the first race. I'm not sure who's pulling it, but maybe I can, I don't know, who knows. But anyways, like I said, I'll give you a little update when I get home. Well guys, I just got home. It is 7.40 and the birds beat me home. That's awesome, I'm glad to see that. I got a few here that are on top yet, as you can see here, a couple up that way. But overall, like this, the birds beat me home. I'm not sure exactly what time they get home, but uh, they beat me home, so which is a good thing. 
Looks like most of them trapped, except for a few of them here. But what do you do? So we're gonna check to see what time it was that they uh, got home. Right now. All right. That looks like they got home five minutes before me, or actually six minutes before me. First one was at 7.34. That's awesome. Right. One right after each other. So, and I had 44 birds so far out of there. I, as you can see, it's rest from around top there. So, figured I'd let you know. I uh, gonna call my buddy and see how he did and see if the his birds are home yet. So, all right, guys, I wanted to give you a little update. I called my buddy. That I released birds with, and he had brought 78 birds with. He had about 68 home. He said he thinks he's missed about 10 birds, but he don't have chips on his birds like I do, so he's not 100% sure until he gets in there and count them. But anyway, like I said, just wanted to give you a little update, what was going on, you know. So I hope you guys uh, know I did get all of my 50 birds back, which is a good thing. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, so please like and share and leave a comment below, and thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it, so, all right. Well, guys, I'm in the garden, as you can see here. Everything is looking really good in here. My corn's looking good. This is a four-foot fence. That's a seven-foot uh, T-post. As you can see, the corn's nice and tall. This is a five-foot fence, and it's about a foot off the ground, so it's about six feet, and, uh, you see my tomato plants are about six foot or not so six foot five foot tall so but you know everything's gonna be looking good everything uh it's got a lot of tomatoes on it and everything else so but uh as you can see here i didn't trim it up so i can't even get around that way so but i wanted to kind of show you a little bit and i already picked a bunch of cucumbers out of here this is all my cucumbers here I put them on this fence because it makes it a little easier to, to look for them versus all over the ground. And here's what I pulled out so far, which is quite a bit. So, all my cherry tomatoes here. More cucumbers. Here's some of my peppers. I got some green peppers growing good. Nice big one there. My uh, broccoli. My cabbages. I even get through here without stepping on anything. Then I got these huge, huge banana peppers. Look at them size of them suckers. They're huge. Never seen banana peppers quite that big before. Crazy. But then I got my jalapenos. They're looking good. And more peppers here. Just wanted to give you a little update and show you how their good garden's looking, so 